Hello and welcome to Atrix Marketing Tutorials. This is our Internet Tools for Today's Business video tutorial series. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about Google Docs Spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to go to Google. And you can type in the Google search bar, Google Docs, and click on the search. We'll go ahead and go to the Google Docs website. Click here. Go ahead and enter in your email address and the password that you have with your Google account. We'll sign in, and this takes us to the Google Docs uh, dashboard. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new spreadsheet. Now what Google Docs spreadsheet is, it's very similar to a Excel type spreadsheet. And we're going to start with the, uh, the headers up here, the menu items. And you'll see if we start with the new, you can start, if you didn't mean to start a new spreadsheet, you could go in here and create a new document or presentation form or drawing instead. You can import a spreadsheet. If you already have an Excel spreadsheet, you can go ahead and import that here. You can see a, a revision history. So if you've made changes throughout the history of this spreadsheet, you can go and look at the different revisions. Uh, you can set up your spreadsheet. Uh, you can just basically change the uh, state or the country, locale you're in, or the time zone. You also can rename it. You can make a copy. You can download it, and you have several different options. The CSV, you can do it as a HTML, a text, Excel, Open Office, and even a PDF. You can save the document and continue working, or you can save and close the document. And edit, you have many options. Um, the undo, redo. Now one thing to note about these also you have these hotkeys or shortcut keys and you'll see the CTRL plus Z. Now what this means is you can press down your CTRL button which is at the very lower left hand side of your keyboard. If you press that down, hold it and then press whatever the next uh, key is, the Z, then you can do the undo and if you press the control plus the Y you can do the redo. Let's go ahead and test that. So if I type in here and just do some random number, press enter. If I press down the control button, press Z, it undoes the, uh, the correction that I just did. If I do the, the control button, hold it down and press Y, it'll redo that. You can use the control X to cut, control C to copy, control V to paste. And you can also do a paste format only. Now let's say we enter in a number 100. And let's format this to a dollar. Now, let's say we have a number over here that's 200. Now, this is a simple version because all we have is a, is a dollar sign, but let's say we want to copy this and then go over here. We want to paste, but we only want to paste the format. So if we click Paste Format Only, notice it maintains the 200, but now it's a dollar sign. Let's go ahead and Control Z and you can paste values only. You can delete the row cell is on. You can delete the entire row by choosing delete row 5. You can delete the column by choosing delete column C. You can clear the section. You can go into name ranges. You can search on the web, find and replace. You can go to a list view. You can hide or show the formula bar, which we'll go ahead and do that. Notice the little formula bar is gone now. We'll bring it back and there's your formula bar. Now you can also hide this area up here, so if we go here to Compact Controls, notice all the area up there is gone. You can bring it back. And you can hide the controls completely. And to get out of this, you need to press the Escape key. You can set up formats for the fonts. Here's some of the different fonts you can choose from. You can bold, italic, underline, stripe through your classic. You can change colors. Your classic. Uh, word styles of, of changing the fonts and formatting things. You can create a form. You have different tools here. A little more advanced, we won't get into these. And if you have any questions, you can go to the Google Docs Help Center and look for more help on this. All right, let's say you have a company who has some uh, employees who are salesmen, and you want to uh, create a little uh, spreadsheet here to uh, keep up with what kind of figures they're making. So we enter in these figures here. We've got a John, Cindy, and Jason, and these are the days of the week in which they're uh, making these profits for your company. Well, the one thing we want to do immediately is select all of these and change this to a dollar figure. So now these are a currency. 
And also, well, what is the totals for the week here? So we'll add a column and call it totals, or a row. We'll call it totals. And we'll use uh, the fancy little uh, formulas here to calculate these totals. If we go right here in between these parentheses, we can highlight these rows that the numbers are in, press enter, and it automatically totals this up for you. Now the great thing about this, if you do the control C and then control V while selecting the cell, it remembers what that format is, so it totals up those rows instead of totaling up these and moving them here. So we'll control V again, and notice that it's keeping up with what the correct column is for the totals. Now let's go ahead and highlight the entire area here. We're going to go to insert, we're going to go to charts, and at this point you can create different types of charts. You can have a pie chart, which will give you this sort of look. Bars would give you this look. Lines would give you this look. Area would give you this look. And scatter would give you this look. So there's several different options even inside this. We'll go ahead and just go with your basic columns here. Um, we'll use the top row, which has their names as a label, and the uh, column A, which has uh, the days of the week as labels. We'll go ahead and save the chart. And here's our chart. You'll notice how nice and it, it looks very clean. Uh, we have John, Cindy, Jason here, and these are the different uh, totals here, and these are the days of the week here. Now, the totals kind of makes this look small, and it really stands out, and we really don't need it here. So let's go to Chart. We'll go to Edit Chart, and we're going to change these cells. Instead of going all the way down to row eight, uh, D8, uh, we want to go ahead and change that to 6. D6, there we go. Now, it only shows the names and the days of the week, so you can get a more clear look at what we've got going on here. Now, let's say that uh, Cindy did not make a uh, 800 on, uh, on Monday. She actually only made, uh, let's say, 500. Now, if you'll notice, uh, Cindy, on Monday, which is right here, and when we go ahead and press that 5, enter, it automatically updates this chart. There's one more thing about this. Let's go ahead and uh, start auto saving. Let's go ahead and name this chart as Sales Week. Now that we've saved it, well, let's go ahead and share it with someone. We'll invite someone. You can enter in anyone who has a uh, Gmail account. You can enter in their information or their email here. We can give them permissions to either edit or view. You can do multiple people. So if you wanted John, Cindy, and Jason to be able to edit uh, this sheet or just to view the sheet, you have the option to add them in here. We'll go ahead and let uh, this member edit the sheet. We'll go ahead and click. Well, we can send them a message. So in, here is the new cell sheet. And this will be emailed to them. We can go ahead and send a copy to ourselves if we'd like. Click Send. And we'll click Save and Close. Okay, and in a matter of minutes. And now this person is actually viewing this, the sheet. And this person can actually, if you click here, there's a little drop down, and it brings up this chat box. So we can say, Hello, salesperson. He says, I just made a change, and you can see immediately that this change has uh, shown here. So this is a great tool for you and your business and your employees. Thank you for using Atrix Marketing Tutorials. This is the basics to Google Docs spreadsheet. If you have any questions, please leave in our comments or send us an email or visit us at our website. And uh, if, this, uh, web, if this website training has been helpful to you, please be sure to leave a positive comment and uh, send all your friends. Thank you, and have a great day from Atrix Marketing Tutorials.